Hey guys, this is Jenny with LearnWithJenny.com and today my internet is not working so um, my post is not going to be up so we're just going to have a video and that is it on my post today so I hope uh, you can hear me on Facebook it looks like my connection is weak but you should still be able to hear me let me know if you can't and chime in let me know where you're from what your primary business is and you know, I want to know what it is you're trying to do. So put that in there because I, I'm feeling a little philosophical today and I'm kind of winging it um, also today on today's topic because usually I like to be a little bit more prepared and have kind of a guideline. I mean, I have a little bit here, but mainly there's two things I want to talk about and I hope that you find them insightful too and maybe they'll inspire you but two quotes there's actually three and the first one is from Earl Nightingale I, I read that he is basically the Dean of personal development um, so we definitely want to check him out and read some of his stuff but here's a quote from him if you want to succeed just look around at what everyone else is doing and do the exact opposite. And the reason why it kind of inspired me is because, you know, we're in this network marketing niche or MLM and everybody's chasing people around and posting stuff all over social media. They're following gurus and setting up big funnels and all this crap. And I'm not going to say crap, I shouldn't say that, because, you know, some of them are really, really interesting. And, you know, if you're a funnel person, then go for it, because that's really cool stuff. Me, it's a little too complicated. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, can't I just talk to the person and, you know, tell them what our products can do for them or what I can teach them or what they can learn from me? You know, can I just talk to you? like I'm doing now. So it's just, it's interesting anyway. So all these people are chasing people around and you know, why not do just the opposite and attract people to you that want what you have, that already know that they want the results that your products can give them. Um, I, the other quote that I wanted to talk about is, actually, I don't even know where I heard it. <laughs> I heard it at um, an event, I believe, and I think it might have been Ray Higdon that said it, but I'm not sure because I did not write it down. It just kind of sat in the back of my head, you know, and I kind of remembered it. But if you're afraid to do it, then you must. And... Every time I, in, the, in my life anyway, and I don't know about yours, but when I've jumped into something that I was afraid to do or took a step forward doing something I was afraid to do, like doing a Facebook Live, it always paid, paid out. It always paid out. Either I learned something, you know, or from my epic failure I learned something, right? Or something else came out of it. So, if you're afraid to do something, you have to do it. And I think we should teach our kids to take those steps forward, too. Because every time you take one of those steps forward, you're moving forward. I, you know, that's just how it goes, and that's how it makes sense. The other quote, the last one that I wanted to talk about that got my attention, too, was in this, also from Earl Nightingale. The opposite of courage in our society is not cowardice, it is conformity. And that one got me too because too often we're following people around, copying what they do. Yes, it's definitely a way to learn and I do the same thing. I do because I'm learning and you know I see somebody do something and I'm like, oh, I should try that, it might work. But if it doesn't feel right, and it doesn't follow your gut, 
because a lot of times, you know, you just need to do what's right. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, oh, and I forgot <laughs> the 80, 20, the other 80, 20 rule that I wanted to mention too. Um, it was, it was an interesting point of view and I'm just going to read from this, um, quote again, this is the last one, 80% of people, your prospects know, these are your customers, don't care about their problems and the other 20% are glad they have them. So what I got from that is, you know, if you do the opposite and actually care about what people need, then you're going to be 80% ahead of the game in that 80-20 role because people are so busy following people around and doing what they're, you know, what the gurus are doing that, oh no, I lost my connection. <laughs> I think I lost my connection there. Anyway, <clears throat> I better wrap it up before I lose it entirely. My internet is really not working today. And I apologize for that. But <clears throat> my point is, is if you, th those people are so busy following people around and copying what the gurus do that they're not listening to their customers. They're not listening to what they need. So if you listen, if you go out and study your market, and, and ask your customers what they need. What's their biggest struggle? What, what can you help them with? Then you'll nail it. And I'm going to get out of here because it keeps going. Lost my connection. I hope that you got something out of this. Make sure you comment. Tell me what your main business is. And tell me, I want to know where you're going with it. Give me a little clue give me a little and tell me what your biggest struggle is I'd love I and I'll talk about it on Monday or on a future live or in a future post I hope you have a great <laughs> this keeps going out <laughs> I hope you have a great day see you out <laughs> holy crap <laughs> so yeah, that was my Facebook Live and it was not going so well. So here on Facebook, this video I will put up um, under that video, I think, just in case. So I'm going to tell you one more time and have a great day. <laughs>